Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to show you some of the basics of adding and subtracting surds. And there's just a couple of things that you need to remember. The main thing being that you can only add and subtract surds um, that are like. And by like I mean that the number underneath the square root sign is the same. So a few examples of like surds are uh, square root of 2 and 3 times the square root of 2. So I could add or subtract these from each other. Now sometimes it's not going to be as easy to see unless you simplify. So for instance, the square root of 18, I can break that down into the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. The square root of 9 is just 3, so it'll be 3 times the square root of 2, which is 3 root 2. So these are all like terms, well obviously they're the same, but uh, the main point out of this is that before you do any adding or subtracting, you should try to simplify all the serbs as much as possible um, just so that you make sure that you add or subtract everything that you possibly can. So I always do that simplification first. So a couple of examples. Uh, first one, we've got 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5. And when I'm doing this, I normally think of these square roots just like variables. So I would pretend that this would be like 2x plus 4x. Um, if you're doing that, you get 6x, much the same. It's going to be 2 plus 4 is 6, and we're just going to be left with the root 5. So 2 root 5s plus 4 root 5s, I'm going to have 6 root 5s altogether. Now, sometimes you're going to have more terms. Um, so I've got 4 root 10s plus 3 root 10s take away uh, 1 root 10. And I mean, you can do it all at once, so you could do 4 plus 3 take 1. Um, I'm just going to do it two times at a time. So 4 root 10 plus 3 root 10 gives me 7 root 10. And I've still got to take away uh, root 10 as well. Then I've got 7 root 10, take root 10. They're like terms. So 7 take 1 is going to be 6. So I'm going to be left with 6 root 10s. Um, number 3. So we've got a couple of different thirds. Some of them are alike. So these two are like, because they're both root 6s. Uh, these are similar as well, because they've both got root 11. So I'm going to join these two together, and these two together. So 5 root 6, take 2 root 6 is going to leave me with 3 root 6. 4 root 11 plus 3 root 11 is going to be positive 7 root 11. And I can't join these because they're not alike. And I can't simplify either of those any further. Um, so you're done with that as well. A couple more. Now this is one of those ones on first inspection. It doesn't look like they're the same. But we need to just check if we can simplify. Because more often than not, you will be able to um, add or subtract them from each other. So I can break down this square root of 8 into the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. So I'm just breaking that up, and I'm going to just take away the square root of 2. Now the square root of 4 is just 2, so it's going to be 2 times root 2. So it's going to be 2 root 2 minus root 2. And now you can see that they're both like terms, so I can uh, subtract them from each other. So it's going to be 2 root 2, take away one of my root 2s. So I'm just going to be left with 1 root 2, but I'll just I'll leave the 1 off. So I just have root 2, and that's your answer. Now, sometimes uh, you might have to simplify a couple of different things. If you have a look at these ones straight away, it's not completely obvious. Um, but I'm going to just try and simplify these, and hopefully we'll get uh, we'll change these into root twos in some sort of a way. So I'm going to leave that root two at the front because I can't simplify him any further. F root fifty, I can split this fifty up into twenty-five times two. So it's going to be the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, which is some good progress. And 98, I can split that up into 49 times 2. Uh, so it's going to be square root of 49 times the square root of 2. Now if I simplify uh, these square roots, so square root of 25 is 5, square root of 49 is 7. So if I simplify that, it's going to be square root of 2 plus 5 root 2s. Uh, plus 7 root 2's. And as I said, most of the time you'll end up uh, having um, like thirds for all these terms. And then I just need to simply add them together. So root 2 plus 5 root 2 is 6 root 2. And I've still got this plus 7 root 2 at the back. And then we've got 6 plus 7. Uh, so that's going to give me 13 
root 2 and there's nothing more I can do to that. So I do get a little bit more complicated, but that's just the basics. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.